A new evil enters the world. A prince of Kislev, reborn a prince of darkness. This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic churned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here in the north? Is he alive? Wounded and dying. Embraces in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Belagor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Urson's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Urson is locked in the Forge of Souls, deep in the realm of chaos. And I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All roots have been sealed by the maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal. One to bypass the maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally. One who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. Welcome to Total War Warhammer 3. Big thanks to Grave Assembly for the early access. We are beginning our Demons of Chaos campaign today with the Demon Prince. He has demonic gifts, which allow you to equip body parts and weapons granted by the Chaos Gods to customize the Demon Prince. And demonic glory, ascribe glory to the four Chaos Gods to be granted boons in the form of demonic gifts and units. Let's dive on in. And because he's a customizable legendary lord, you get to name him as well. Which obviously means we're calling him Tim. Tim the Demon Prince. There we go. So, lots of lore details. Go through them. Once mortal, the Demon Prince is a great and powerful servant of the Ruinous Powers, earning favour through acts of violent glory and battle. Demon Prince grows and mutates into a being of godlike power, forever bound to the whims of his dark patrons. Faction effects. Access all demon units via demonic glory. 
Reign of Chaos, inflicting damage with friendly lords in battle will unlock random army abilities. Uh, Lord effects customizable via demonic gifts. Equipable gifts are granted through servitude to the Chaos Gods. Access to gifts of Chaos Undivided. These gifts are not directly influenced by any of the Chaos Gods and allow you to represent Chaos in all its glory. You can then access the gifts of Korn, Nurgle, Slanesh, and Zinch, and they all give you various uh, kind of buffs and bonuses. Korn is all about improving your battle prowess. Nurgle is about uh, spreading pestilence, suffering, and decay. Uh, Slanesh it makes you a more agile hunter. It will chase down any prey it chooses to turn its back on you. And Zinch uh, grants you the um, level of knowledge in the winds of magic required to change the tides of battle. We're playing this on very hard, very hard difficulty. On the map, we can see that he starts over in Norska and he leads the Legion of Chaos faction. Other than that, 60 minute battles. That's all we need to see there. Let the campaign begin. A new evil enters the world. A prince of Kislev, reborn a prince of darkness, a champion of the Chaos Gods. Kislev will fall. It will kneel before me, before Chaos. You think too small for one so powerful. <laughs> Have you forgotten, Seer? I killed Ursa. Why stop at Kislev when you can give Chaos the world? No more twisted words. Wait. Ursa lives. You lie. Wounded and dying by your hand, but alive. The Shadow has him still. <laughs> Belakor will pay for his betrayal. <laughs> the god bears power. It is yours for the taking. So take it. The realm of chaos cannot be entered. No one can cross the maelstrom. I can. I will guide you back to the Forge of Souls. All I require is one drop of Ursa's blood. Finish the job you started, mighty God Slayer. God Slayer. World Slayer. Ursa's power is mine. Dun, dun, dun. Our goal is clear. The demon prince must harness Urson's power and claim the mantle of a god. I have brokered a pact and will guide him to his desire. Advise me, as my brother once did. Take me to the Chaos Realms. Or suffer his fate. Prince of demons, God Slayer, the ruinous powers watch, waiting for you to make your mark on this world. The deeper the scar, the easier it will be to wrest Urson's remnants from Belakor. First, establish a capital. This will alleviate the attrition from which you currently suffer. Your new fortress is all but complete. Claim and dedicate it to one of the Chaos Gods. Yet do not linger, for trespassers approach. Colonists from Nordland attempt to settle the untamable lands. In a mistaken belief, this will quell invasions from the North. Wipe out the gullible fools at their beachhead, the Bay of Blades. Then make the Scalings pay for failing to protect lands that are the dominion of Chaos Undivided. The other Norskan tribes should be conquered and subsumed into your burgeoning realm. And across the Sea of Claws lies even fatter prey. The Empire is within reach, but beyond that fractured nation, 
the so-called motherland. Kislev, the nation which abandoned you, whose god you had no choice but to slay. The leader of Urson's cult, Kostaltin, musters a force to enact revenge against you. Meet them head on and harvest their miserable lives to power your own vengeance. As you gather your forces, the Tome of Fates ponders a way to return to the Chaos Realms. Your form remains malleable, so use this to your advantage and wield the Legion of Chaos. A prince will become a king, and then a god. Thanks for the advice there, Mysterious Advisor, showing up in all the places in this game. How they play, Legion of Chaos. The Demons of Chaos will automatically wage war on any non-Chaos faction they encounter. Demonic Glory. The Demon Prince may earn favor with each of the Chaos, uh, with each of the Gods of Chaos. As Demonic Glory is earned, new Demonic Gifts are unlocked, allowing customization of the Demon Prince's appearance. Dedication. After earning a great amount of demonic glory, the Demon Prince may choose to dedicate themselves to a champion of one of the four Chaos Gods, or as an undivided champion of all. Intruders from the Empire dare to approach your fortress. Destroy them. So we get our first mission, which is engage the enemy. Defeat an army belonging to the following faction in battle, Nordland. Get plus 30 corn glory and plus 30 Nurgle glory. Right. Let's go spank. Uh, let's, go, let's go spank. Let's go smack. Smack and spank some Nordlings. But before we do, you guys are itching to see all the undivided and uh, KLC glory. Let's go up to demonic glory here. So you can see that as you gain demonic glory, you've got five different sections to go through. Corn glory, Nurgle glory, Slanesh glory, or Zinch glory. Uh, or, obviously at the top, undivided if you want to, you know, master of all. And then you get to dedicate when you have 3,080 um, glory for either one of the Chaos Gods, or you can go undivided. I think I'm going to go undivided with this playthrough, but we will unlock um, elements, bits and arms and pieces from the other Chaos um, Gods as we go through. But I think I'm going to go undivided basically um unlocks or gives you the opportunity to unlock even more items i can't remember how many customizations they said but there is an absolutely insane number of potential customizations you can have with um this character with this faction with the demon prince himself but um yeah and along the top you can also see at various stages you'll unlock uh different units as well from each of the other uh chaos gods uh, as well so as you go through this kind of lower section, you unlock units from uh, Korn, Nurgle, Solanesh, and Zinch uh, as you go through. And then undivided, you can unlock uh, a host of some of their best units if you want to. Or you can specialize um, and you, there's various buffs and bonuses. So you can see undivided one, two, uh, throughout that is just two tiers, I think. Uh, or there's Korn's offering which you can build up as well. Nurgle's gifts that each give you lots of different bonus bonuses. We'll check all of them out as we play through because there's so much there. There is so, so much um, to go through. But this is your Legendary Lord screen. So you can see each of his body parts are customizable with things that you unlock and then they'll show up here. So you can have a good old mix and match of whatever you want. There is so much with this. There is so much with this to unpack. Um... I'm glad I'm streaming him because we need a lot more time with this guy than we do with probably any of the other factions in the game. Uh, it's got a pretty chunky skill tree as well. And I can't remember off the top of my head, but the max level for lords, and I'm assuming heroes, although I'm not sure if that's correct. I believe the max level is now either 40 or 50. Um, I want to say it's 50. But I can't quite remember. Another creator might be able to double check that or I'll, I'll ask for tomorrow to remind myself um, for that amount. So yeah, a lot more skills. Was it 40? It was 40. Okay. That's pretty cool. So yeah, a lot more, uh, more levels to spend points in. 
So we've got our starting force here. We're attritioning because we don't have a, a region. Yet no home region. We're going to take the Doom Keep. I like how the advisor at the start was like, oh yeah, your new fortress is nearly ready. It still looks like it's in ruin. It's in ruins. It was 40 before. It's now 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gone up to 50. 40 seems really... like I, For some reason, I had it in my head like it was 30 before. Yeah, it's 50 now. There we go. Um, you guys want to see the map quickly. So that's where we start. So the map goes all the way down. You've got Altdorf like down here. Marienburg. You have Sylvania. Drakenhof over there. And then all of this turns into ogres and some dwarves in there and then Cathay's all up here. So my Cathay campaign starts up over here. Originally it was 30, yeah. Then it went to 40 with Warhammer 2, I think. And so now it is 50. But yeah, that is the map. There's this big old chunk here because there is definitely stuff in there and we'll be going there. Uh, if you're thinking of where's the whole world map, that will be in the update that they do to Stitch Games 1, 2, and 3's maps together. Don't have any details on that. Know when it's coming or what it's called. But I imagine it'll be some point after release because that was how Mortal Empires worked for Warhammer uh, 2. Right. Uh, go to Diplomacy, although there's not really much point because we're going to be at war with most people and we can't trade. This faction doesn't trade. And we're all with that faction. We don't. I think we can't trade because with most things because either they don't trade or we don't have a capital. So trading's not going to be important. Quick deal. You've got good quality of life tweaks and changes from uh, three yes. kingdoms, and I think there's some kind of Troy influence in there as well. Marauders all. Uh, you've also got the balance, um, a balance demand or like uh, or make it work option in there as well now. Right. Let's go into a battle. We'll just check out all the other features Battle as we promise. find them. Study. Thank you, advisor. I know how battles work. We will fight this one because we want to see him in action. Take a look at all the cool units. Nice, easy one. Don't have to worry about actually playing well. <laughs> uh, some of you saying, are oh, can you play some of the other like older factions on this map? Um, no. Not right now. I don't know if that will ever change. Uh, what have you? Probably, I imagine, if they, if you want to play as kind of older factions on this style of map, you'll have to wait until they do the big uh, map that stitches all things together. Because in Warhammer 3's main campaign right now, unless they add them in with DLC, uh, you've obviously got all the Chaos Gods, um, Kislev, Cathay, and Demons of Chaos. You can turn off the highlight as well if you don't want the um, outlines on units. Pretty sure unit visibility. Yeah, there you go. Just do it when they select it, I think. Oh, selection outlines. There you go. You can turn that off. You can toggle flight. So you just toggle him and he comes down on the ground. But he's a flappy boy, so we'll have him up in the gra up in the sky. There he is. There's Tim, our demon prince. What's everyone going to call their their first demon prince? Bob the demon prince. Uh, also, you guys want to see graphics. Here be graphics. Those are my settings, what we're currently running on. So my mouse looks quite big, so I've got it on a scale of 170 because I'm playing this at 1440p. But there we go. There is one thing I want to change, actually, which is cinematic smoothing. I want to dial that down a little bit. Right. Let's set everyone up and then we'll take a look at these units before we dive into battle. We've got some Nurglings. I'm going to have you guys over in the trees. Keep the horrors together. So he has a roster from across all the uh, the chaos gods. You get a bit of everything to wage war with. 
And then you've got these army abilities that unlock as you do damage in battle. Those over there. Chaos Warhounds. We'll have you guys there as well. Plague Drones of Nurgle. Over that away. Oh, and I want you guys melee front. So let's have a little looky. Here's some tasty, tasty Plague Drones of Nurgle. Then down on the ground, we've got the Blue Horrors of Zinch. The Pink Horrors. They've got their Barrier, which means that takes damage before their health does, which is pretty cool. Oh, the Army Ability Similar to Dark Elves and Warhammer 2, where they unlock Battle... Yeah, do you, well, some of them are. You gain glory points um, as your Lord inflicts damage, and then you unlock different ones. So I think they're all random. So you can see here, Reign of Chaos. Inflicting damage with Friendly Lord generates glory points, which can be used to unlock one of the following bonuses chosen at random. Either you get the Horn of Corn, which is an AoE melee attack buff, the Curse of the Slug, which is a speed debuff, uh, Chain Hex, uh, Narcissism, which inflicts uh, Cannot Move, or Arcane Surge, which gives you Arcane Surge. But you've got a 25% chance of each of those, and it scales up as you keep on fighting. Then we've got the Marauders of Slanesh. Zoom in on these boys. Lord Infantry. And then Blood Letters of Corn. And we've got the Seekers of Slanesh. Which are on these incredibly weird creatures. I don't know what they are. It's like... I'm going to call you Mrs. Snips. Uh, what else we've got to show off? We've got the Nurglings. Which are really cool because they are, like, their animations are insane. They're just a collection of lots of little tiny Nurglings that then form up these weird little formations and shapes. They are absolutely hilarious to watch in battle as well. They're just called Steeds of Slanesh. Okay. Kind of reminds me of like the like the Ginyu Force doing their weird dances. Hilarious. Anyway, we want to see all these guys in action. Let's go stomp some poor old spearmen of the Empire. Right, Tim, the Demon Prince. Off you go, mate. Be sure to position your troops accurately in battle. I've got this, mate. I know what I'm doing. Focus on him. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you play drones. You are armor piercing, poison attacks. Send the demon prince in. We've got Mortal Blow and Demonic Onslaught. So activate that for his charge in right now if we can. It's going to drop on down, I think. Oh, no, he slams on him. Power yourself up, Timmy boy. Get strong. Well, I mean, we do massively outnumber them here. Nurglings, go. He's a big, mad lad. Go, little Nurglings, go! Look at them whip themselves round! <laughs> That's beautiful. Right, Tim, it's time to land. Go after him. Conquer. 
Absolute massacre. Take him out. Tim, Tim is one big bad boy. Don't mess with Tim. You gonna break yet, mate? You gonna keep on fighting? I mean, Tim does not have much armor. So that is gonna be a little bit of a, uh, a struggle for him. Just knock him about a bit. A bit more, please. Knock him out. Oof. My divinity. Pain and Got our infantry in there to help him out. Maybe just bring the Nurglings in for fun. Guys came back in. Cute. Nurglings, attack. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade Tim with some armor. That's what he's really lacking right now. Now he's broken. Bye bye. And Tim just walks off. Tim's one cool dude. Doesn't look at explosions. There he is. Glorious. I'll have a chance to take a look at more battle animations in larger battles. Spanked him. Victory is yours, my lord. But what about the fate of those captured in battle? It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality can be worth more. So we get to off to the Chaos Gods, Undivided Glory, Corn Glory, uh, Nurgle Glory, Slanesh Glory, or Zinch Glory. I'm going to go for Undivided Glory. Om nom nom. And we gained some corn glory and some noble glory from that. And the chaos gods labor to give you a mighty fortress from which you can begin your reign of terror over this world. All you need do is take it. So there we go. Uh, mission issue, claim the capital. Occupy doom keep. And we'll get some slanesh glory and some more undivided glory. Should unlock some items for us. In we go, and we can resettle and dedicate it to either Corn, Nurgle, Slanesh, or Zeech. Or we can choose to do nothing and just leave it as it is. Uh, I'm going to go for a resettle for Corn to start with. Because originally I was going to do a Corn campaign to start with, but with the way the embargoes work, plus I've decided that I'm going to wait until there's blood DLC for Corn. Master, you require a larger demonic host. If we are to dominate this region. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, we'll go we'll go with uh, some corn alignment to start with, just so we can kind of uh, enjoy some of his stuff there. We if we recruit two more units, we get a blood reaper hero. So go in. So glorious warfare, fury of the faithful, impure prayer, unholy worship, or storm of change. I'm gonna go for glorious warfare because I want to focus on getting all glory. Uh, where I can. And uh, we've now unlocked a different torso, the Flaming Body Torso. So our current one is Mark of Chaos, which gives us plus 10 melee defense and 10% ward save. Flaming Body gives us a passive ability of Foreboding Ignition, which is a large expanding area effect explosion. Armor plus 25, which we desperately need from that first battle. Uh, fire resistance 10% and melee defense plus 10. So if we equip that, you can now see it goes straight on him and it's on his model and it will show up in battle as well. 
that's that one. There's all the demonic glory through here. So you can see when you get to a certain level, you'll unlock more. Also, as you go through um, the initial stages, you'll see when you can unlock um, the other units for recruitment. Um, when you dedicate to one of the... Um, of the other gods um it doesn't see it stops all the other glory gain but i don't think you lose access to any of those units that from the other chaos gods from the looks of it and what it reads it says you'll gain even more powerful demonic gifts and units of corn so you get some more of his unique ones but i think um undivided i'm pretty sure it gives you access to most of the like the best ones from all of them i don't know if it gives us all the others as well i wouldn't have thought so but it gives you kind of like a selection of some of their best ones um i don't think you'll get like skull crushers uh unless i've missed it there oh undivided three right at the end yeah there you go so you can see their maximum one hard to see across because there's so many in the ui so you, you, if you want to get the absolute best of the best for each faction you'd have to choose which chaos god you want to go for uh, it looks like there is probably a unique unit or two for each Chaos God rather than just going undivided. But that's where I'm going to go, I think. But yeah, there's there's so much customization here. I can't remember the, uh, when we had like a, a preview kind of event in early January. I can't remember what the actual figure was for the number of potential customizations, but it was, it was huge. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of play to each of their, each of the strengths of... Um, the chaos gods so depending on your play style you'll probably find a chaos god aligns with you in one way or another or you can go for a mix across all of them uh which is pretty cool uh but then yeah when you get to 3080 you can um uh dedicate to one of them or go undivided which access even more powerful demonic gifts and units of chaos gods uh chaos gods will still grant you access to their lesser demonic gifts which are all of these stuff down here but you won't get their greater stuff the only way to get that is to dedicate to one specific um god to pop that in there let's just go to objectives because they've changed all this so it's a little bit easier to see all your missions and you can pin them all so we need to recruit two more units victory conditions we the you're playing kind of the forge of souls campaign this is kind of the main campaign of warhammer 3 and for that you need to complete the corn realm nurgle realm slanesh realm zinch realm and then only then can you fight and win the final battle at the forge of souls um there's also Domination Victory if you want to do that as well, but fairly straightforward. But uh, yeah, quite a nice story-driven one from what I understand. But uh, haven't had a chance to play it all the way through uh, yet to see it all. So it will be good to see what we... Um, what occurs as we go through the campaign. So we can get some Chaos Furies and some Chaos Warhounds. Let's go for to start with... I'm going to go for two Chaos Furies. And then we can build some stuff. Let's take a look at our building tree here for the Doom Keep. So we've got a resource, the Cultist Camp Marble, which actually starts generating some passive glory in there. I'm assuming oh, that does reduction for... Uh, right, yeah, so these chain, the infrastructure is geared around then the Chaos God that you align with. So we, because we went for corn, we've got... Uh, Recruitment cost reduction for corn units from the totem. We The brass tower, there'll be, you know, a, just a different income building for each of the Chaos Gods, I would imagine. Then you've got Pit of Massacres, which gives us some glory generation for that Chaos God, in this case, corn. So you can have lots of different... You can do this every time you occupy a settlement or claim a settlement. You can dedicate it to a different Chaos God. Um, so you can have a lot of generation going through all the all the various other other ones, however you want to, across the map. This one will give us corn corruption as well. Obviously has various effects as well when corruption builds on up in a certain way. So yeah, that keeps on going up all the way up to the top, which also gives you some corn corruption and hero capacity for blood reapers. That's your replenishment rate there. And finally, the eightfold path gives you some control, public order, and is a garrison building as well. Um, That one's also garrison too. Interesting. And improves tower projectiles with greater raw energy. Sick. I honestly don't know what happens in the realms of chaos uh, that you've got to venture to to complete the campaign. We will find out together as we play through. So here you can see things locked in. 
the various units. Uh, glory required 3,000... Oh, no, you can. So you can get Skull Crusher, but you need 3,850 undivided or 3,740 of corn if you haven't. But I think that's after you have to dedicate to one of them. You can get Bloodthirsters because, again, corn shows you what you can get if you were to be aligned to one of the specific ones. So there's lots of different bits there. But again, corn units, corn settlement. Uh, Obelisk of corn, corn glory generated. I think, I mean, that the the resource is the only thing that generates you a different type of glory to what you've already got. I am going to go for a shrine of corn, magic chariot. Where do I get some chaos warriors? It's just a tier two. I think to start with, we want more growth in here. So let's get a growth building going. That goes up to tier four as well. We see dedicated corn gives us a unique set of buildings and we've got marble in there. Right. Um, I want to see what other units you can recruit. So heroes, you get a blood reaper, plague ridden, allures or an in iridescent horror. So one from each of the different gods. Recruits, you can get a herald of corn, herald of Nurgle, herald of Slash or of Slanesh rather or a herald of Zinch. Or of metal or of Zinch. Slanesh or shadows. Death or Nurgle, and these guys fight. All right, let's end our first turn. Yeah, if you're wondering, like, I. There's still further optimizations in this build to be applied uh, before launch, because again, this is like a, a month or so old build, uh, but they are updating it during this early access period for myself and obviously other content creators because they're still working on it. Optimization is one of the last things that kind of goes in. Um, but basically, if you can currently run Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2, like 99% sure you'll be fine running Warhammer 3 because obviously part of the, the, the deal with this series of games is that they want you to be able to play that massive combined map whenever they do decide to bring that out as well. So if you can run Warhammer 2, you've been playing that previously and it's, you know, running fairly comfortable in your system, you shouldn't have any issue with Warhammer 3. There are some uh, further improvements to graphics and some more higher end settings if you want to choose to play them. But, um, you know, kind of base entry requirements should be pretty much the same because they want people to keep on playing, basically. Right, mission successful. We have recruited the Blood Reaper. Ally has joined your ranks. Embed them in your army. Lovely. Thank you, advisor. Pop you in. Training. Grant side experience per turn. Lovely. Optimization currently isn't finished yet, so um, can't really comment on what it's like compared to Warhammer 2, which is a fully released, fully optimized game. But I'll let you guys know nearer to release when they do some more optimization tweaks. But so far, it's running fine on my system. Chaos but I have a, a pretty fun. insane setup, so I, I'd be really surprised if it didn't run well. Supreme Champion. Right. We've done all our missions. We'll probably get another one spewed out in a minute. There is some more enemies down here. It's more of Nordland. In fact, if we go to Diplomacy, we should be able to see. They've got four regions there. They've got all this over here. But let's kick them out of the north. Oh, hello, Scarbrand. How you doing? <coughs> yeah, so he's up here having some fun. Demon. Let's venture on down. See what they've got. Have they got anything in there? Doesn't look like it. We can't reach it this turn anyway, so we might as well sit here and recruit some more units. Uh, we got some Chaos Furies last time. Let's throw in more Warhounds. We can't get anything else just yet. That's why I've gone for growth so that we can get our, our growth going to get more buildings. Two. If you don't like um, selection outlines, you can turn them off. I know a lot of you don't. I'm just going to turn them off there. Uh, and the turn again. Might as well do the this total war. You'd have to tell one every single faction. Every single turn, which I haven't done. Destroy them and take the settlement. Might do that with him on like a whatever the 
Mortal Empires 2.0 is in um, when that eventually comes out for the game. Might let's do it in that one. So mission issued. Capture and occupy the following settlement, Bay of Blades, which always makes me think of Beyblade. Let it rip. I'll get 20 glory for all the factions. Expenditure for your domain all the chaos prosper. alignment. Be mindful of your treasury. For your current deficit will run you out of funds entirely. Thanks, if yeah. You... Is not yes, to... yes, yes, yes. I know we're low on money, mate. God, has to, has, to, has to dig, doesn't he, all the time. So, a Blood Reaper. There he is, there's his info. His stats. Anti-infantry flaming attacks. Pretty solid. He's got a Hellblade passive ability in there. And we'll get some Nurgle glory from this mission as well. Regain a positive income. Oh, nice. Here we go. Go on, Tim. The city has been reached, and your warriors are prepared for battle, mighty lord. Study. This is cool. We'll fight this one as well. Again, weak force, but I want to see his new armor in action, his new ability, and um, I want to see the blood blood reaper in there. You can set the advisor to none, but I found if you do that, he sometimes doesn't pop up for story elements, and I quite like having the story elements in there. Yeah, minor settlements are really interesting now to fight on because their maps are really varied. Your forces are ready to storm the defenses, yet I advise caution. You face a no, 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 silence. They're weak. Look at this map. I attack his Uh In due time, I'm not. I'm playing this as a proper campaign, not just as a kind of throwaway campaign. This is the start of a series, so when time comes, we will venture back to Kislev and enact vengeance on our once friendly kin who we have now forsaken as a prince of chaos. Right. Team Prince, you go in here with the main group. We'll have these guys deploy all over the place. Different points. You want to try and grab all those supply locations. Neutralize their effectiveness. Uh, I'll take the flyers, send them in from here. We'll send in the horrors from the back there, I think. Nurglings can wiggle up this path here. And we'll send these guys in with the main group. I didn't even check what this guy's called. Gore Flinch. Probably won't worry about adding in any other custom names today. We'll do that tomorrow. There we go. Marauders of Flanish! Uh, I just put my Seekers somewhere. Let's have them support the Nurglings. Okie dokie. Right. Start battle. Absolutely outnumber them. So oh, they've gone for over here. They... Go flyers, go. Capture all the other points. Because they can build up defensive structures otherwise. Come on, Tim. So he's got his new chess piece on. You can see that there. these guys out and away they're trying they can see that other forces are coming passive ability 
How does a passive? Is that just when he when he lands? Then I guess. Otherwise, how do you use that? Fight, 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 fight. So yeah, some of you are asking, had I had a chance to play as this guy before to kind of know what I'm doing? I literally had maybe a 20 minute dabble with him the other day, and that was about it. Oh, less than 10%. Thank you. Monica Biss. That's what I missed. So if he goes really low, he does a big old blast around him. So we'll leave him, we'll leave him fighting, because why not? Running these spears from all sides. Bit risky. Don't want to risk losing Tim straight away, but want to see some stuff in action. Down we go. They're building up a tower there with their, their points. Head on over here. Capture that main central point. Yeah, they're doing all right against the spears. Nice. In come the Seekers of Sanesh into the Swordsman. Lovely stuff. Send them back. Get another charge ready. After years of being in the shadows, Tim finally gets his moment. Yep. This is Tim's time to shine. I mean, his armor's still really low, so we definitely want to improve that with other items as we campaign. But I do want to see this explosion go off. But we would have to get him down pretty darn low. May not happen. In come the Nurglings, because they're just funny to watch. Oh, they come down as balls! <laughs> of course they do. Of course they do. Capture that one, destroyed it. Nice. And Tim slaughters another foe. Hold well on, Tim. Good boy. Don't mess with Tim. Are there non-playable legendary laws on the map like Carl Franz? Uh, yes, I believe so. I believe like other factions legendary laws will show up. I, I mean, I assume so. I assume they're not just commanded by random legendary lords. I mean like Altdorf and Drakenhof are on the map. So I assume those characters would be there. You can't play as them though. At last, the defenses have fallen, my lord. The fate of those that remain is yours to determine. Right. Um, we went for corn on the Doom Keep. I'm assuming there's not much point doing it across the whole thing. You want to have a mix across every single region or province, ideally. Um, let's go. Let's get some Nurgle boys in there. This one. Just want to see what I had the most amount of neck which was Nurgle. Demon that makes sense. Your standing grows within the pantheon of chaos and the ruinous powers offer gifts that may transform your very being. Choose wisely from among them. 
Noise. Um. Go, 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 go. Grow your empire, great one. Sunder this province, and your rivals will be forever wary of your burgeoning power. Nice. Thank you. Right, so we've got to maintain control of one province by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies, and we'll gain even more. Lots of undivided glory there. Start gaining a lot of it. Right, have we unlocked some more items? Look at we have. Oh, we've got some more torso choices. So we've got the flaming body, which is actually a chaos, um, an undivided one, isn't it? Yeah, undivided glory. I thought it was a corn one. There's a there's a corn one now. The spiked collar, which gives tempered rage. Uh, duration infinite, enabled if in melee, effect intensity increases with each kill made. Ooh, yes, definitely go for that. Ooh, look at that collar. So that's how that changes from our starting one. That's good. I mean, the foreboding ignition's nice, um, but we've got to wait until we're down to 10 health points. I don't think I want to, want to risk that, taking him that low. We do lose some armor. Don't get that. We all get burning rage as well. What's that? Explosion, active ability. Yes. Okay, screw armor. We're going to need some armor, though. Okay, so we've currently got dem uh, demon wings. We can have wings of pestilence. Oh, God, look at my plague wings. Plaguey wings. Look at that. Yeah, charge bonus plus 20%, 5% hit points. Noise, and we get pestilent decay passive ability. Causes damage to combatants. Demon Prince is the only customizable legendary lord that one you can change the name of. Um... Don't know if they have future plans to add in other customization, customizable ones, but this is the only one you could do. All the others are uh, kind of normal, straightforward um, lords, from what I understand. Um, desirable Light Greaves. Oh, wow, we're getting kinky. Of course, we're getting Slaneshi. We lose Demonic Onslaught if we take that off, though. Uh, that is some armor. That gives Sinful Footing. Um, other lords, from what I'm aware, again, the, uh, if you compare to Cathay, Cathay have a far more traditional one, like, they don't change their appearance, it's only him that this is all customizable for. Yeah, let's whack on the, the crazy legs. Uh, we've got an armoured serpent tail of corn, or an armoured corpulent tail of Nurgle. Um, I am going to go for, let's take a look at them. The Armoured Serpent Tail is very bitey. Or there is, oh god, it's it's got suckers. I'm going to go for Armoured one, because we need a bit, bit more armour. A bit more armour. Oh my. Uh, so I haven't got any other hand weapons. It's going to be to see what other kind of weapons we can get. Oh, so you can have a hand weapon offhand, or you can have a two-handed weapon. <gasps> Realise that's cool. Noise. Right, there we go. And it changes his picture as well. That's cool. God, the amount of, like, stuff they had to do just for this one character is insane. He's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. Um, right, so what have we got for Nurgle here at the Bay of Blades? So we've obviously got the port building there. Plague Toads of Nurgle. East of Nurgle in there. Um, we need that one in. We need to upgrade it already. Give us some growth though. That's good. But it's a minus element so we can only go up to tier 3 across everything anyway. That's fine. Um, let's let's recruit some more Nurglings. Although I've got to be careful of my income, haven't I? You're gonna shout at me. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Negative income. Although, actually, what was that mission? Oh, we completed the other one. Yeah, regain it. At the end of your turn, I'll have at least 200. I'll have an income of it. How is that finished? Okay. It fired off through there at some point. Mission successful. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so we don't need to worry about that one. So, yeah, get another Nurgling unit. And the turn. This is Demons of Chaos. Blessed 
by the ruinous power. But essentially, yeah, undivided because they can get troops from all the other chaos gods. Demon prince. Okay, affecting presence, chaos corruption, chaos undivided. Yeah, what's the difference with all the? I haven't even had a chance to look at this. What's all the different Supreme corruptions do? Champion. So chaos undivided corruption gives plus five control. Corn gives. Oh my days melee attack and you can have they're all separate as well so you can have them all at 100 if you balance it right no corruption gives growth corn is very nice all those buffs to melee attack that's gonna be disgusting can't tell what Zinch does until we've got some of it our control is lovely there though um right okay well let's go back and our skill points specs of the north I don't think we need to worry about that one, putting points into that. Root March, <laughs> Root March is the one I always go into first, but that's locked until we've got four previous points spent. I don't think we're going to worry about respect and diplomatic relations. Uh, your points accumulate along the top, and then they automatically unlock things at various levels, I believe. More growth, growing chaos probably would help us out, infecting or more chaos undivided, more control. Uh, we need to have four points spent here. Actually, some of these are really nice as well, just looking through all this. We could spend ages just going through all these. Might have to, though, because some good stuff here. Great sorcerer. This depends on how you want to play, which one you want to go through to. Plague troops. Might have the chosen. This is like your blue line along here, actually. That's what that is. This one is your blue line. Upkeep for Sl Slanesh, Zinch. Nurgle and Corn, and there's lightning strike in there. Do, 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 do. Rage within the machine. There's just so many options, so many choices. I think we want to get Root Marcher first because having more movement range is always good. Uh, early on, let's go for more growth. I think more growth and corruption, perhaps. Chaos me once more. But take the mountains. Okay, so that will complete our... Yeah, that and Ice Drake Fjord. Honk! There is, actually, remnants of battle over here. I might go into that, actually. See what we get out of that while we're here. Let's sail. Uh, form better in battle, yes, please. Arabian Arms. Insorcial Blades is, like, my favourite one that you get out of that. And you've gained a Firestorm Blade. Now, this is what I like as well, is you can now salvage items or you can fuse two magical items of the same rarity together to produce a new item of a higher rarity up to rare, which is going to be so much more useful than having all the crap unit, all the crap items rather from like low tier stuff when you get all the late game items. So you can now fuse them up to be more useful, which is pretty darn cool. What does he get? He gets a blood throne at rank nine. Hello. Or a juggernaut. Noise. This world will burn. Yeah, he can't wield any of that. He has his own items that he unlocks. So There's so many good power. quality of life changes. Really, it's really hard going back and playing Warhammer 2 after this early access build, I'll tell you that. <laughs> right, got minus one control where it's currently standing. Uh, I can recruit some more units, can't I? Uh, no, no, we've landed in their region. That's fine. We should be okay here. He hopes. Right. End of turn. The Great Orthodoxy. Don't tell me they're coming. Was Stalton's coming straight for me? Or where's he going? Oh, World Defense. Demonic Gift Gained. The Bestial Charging Horns. Oh, nice. That's going to change my face. I mean, I can't really recruit because I'm only at positive yet. Plus two a turn. Oh, they're going to go past me that way. Money is the lifeblood of success and glory. Oh, Without but I can't move because I've just come on land. Armies, you will be powerless to make war. Seek to raise your income. Oh, no. Oh, what? Is that, is that a giant? Oh, no. It's just it's a play bear of Nurgle. Nurgle. It kind of looks like a giant's one. Beyblade is going to struggle there, though. Uh, I can't move that far. I am... Um, I can only move here. That's oh, because we're we're kind of oh, we're like disembarked. Yeah, socketh. 
Um, right, well, let's go put my new face on. Because we definitely want that. I mean, we lose some physical resistance, but we gain more melee attack, more armor piercing damage. We gain the Gore Fest ability, which replenishes hit point of combatants. Heal per second, 0.1. Regeneration. Nice. And fueled by rage. Passive ability. Hit points less than 50% base. You gain plus 25% base weapon damage and plus 25% armor piercing weapon damage. Oh, look at my face. Beautiful. Oh, why can't I zoom in on your face? There we go. I'm horny. No, they instantly equip. So you can like just, you can change it on the fly. So it's not like an item where you have to wait a turn for it to equip in. Yeah, the, there's a lot more ambient kind of arts along the map. Like there's just creatures wandering around. There's little camps. Like you can see there's, there's wolves here. They've just upped the detail all over the place with this, which is just grand. I mean, look at the detail in the, in the scenery as well. All of that's hidden by fog of war, so you can't really see much there. That is... What's this? That's a Rengrad. It's very, very pretty. The items from heroes equip instantly. No, I think they still take... Actually... Oh, no, they're instant equips as well. That's actually quite nice because it means you can on the fly change, change things up. Um, I am going to move. Oh, I was hoping I could move maybe into an ambush. Well, actually, let me just move in. Can I raid them? It does lower my movement, though. Mean to my attrition. How much do I need to take up that stance? I don't know. Maybe 25%? Let's go to 28%. Yeah, okay, we've lost that one. We can go into ambush, though. What is the ambush chance here? 40. Don't know if I'll be able to reach that next. So you'd hope so. Don't really need winds of magic right now. Yeah, let's go into ambush, because why not? Gain a moderate income. Oh, is that another one? Another one that's popped up. Gain a moderate income. Have an income of at least 3,000. <laughs> the Lord has infected. There's no item trading that I'm aware of, no. Demon Prince. Ooh, they've gone to siege it. Uh, I think it's you immediately they'll start taking attrition. The population of this province has grown under your care. And Good. The enemy have encircled your city, my lord. Yes, I know. From your scum, Kisler's fallen champion. I can go hit theirs, though. I think I might just go finish them off, and then I'll have to turn back around and deal with them later. What are the Wood Elves? Honestly, I have no idea. I haven't come up against them. Yeah, we can upgrade that one. This is an early access build of the final game. It's a close defeat if I charge out. Force, my lord. It may be wise to consider. What is a plague toe? Anti-infantry poison attacks. I wonder if with the nurglings we can swarm them. The thing is, if I don't attack now, I'm just going to get weaker. I might have to bring my army back anyway. Or I could wait for them to attack. The thing is, if I wait for them to attack, I'm going to attrition. Then the settlement might help me out because we will get defenses. I don't want to lose too much health. Too powerful. I think I'm going to see if they'll maybe break off if they don't next turn. Would go take out their other settlements, I think. Blood Reaper. Training to level up my troops or give a charge bonus. I think we'll go for training early on. They hit their settlement over here. Ooh, they've got another army. Hello. What's that other army looking like before we go in for the attack there? Force March. Felman Ingerson has left Ice Straight Fjord. They've got 15 units, so we're going to want to... It's a close victory. I'm going to fight it, even though the Order of says we're not going to lose any. I'm going to fight it just to try and minimize our losses here because we're going to have to turn around and fight that other army. 
me another cool custom map. In we go. I believe the PC specs people have said are now posted on Steam. So go check them out there. But from what well, this final build isn't as fully optimized as Warhammer 2 yet because they're still working on it. It's kind of one of the last things they do. Uh, but it's currently running perfectly fine on my current system. Uh, as said, like 99% sure if you can comfortably run Warhammer 2, you'll be able to comfortably run Warhammer 3. But obviously you need to wait until the final release build to kind of 100% that. But from my experience, it's... Um, it's running pretty done well. Uh, someone's asking, is this uh, a pre-order bonus, getting early access, or streamer benefits? Streamer benefits. Uh, content creator benefits. Any DLSS? I don't believe so, um, but it might just be that they haven't told us about them. But I don't believe there's DLSS in there or anything like that. Um, maybe it's something that they'll work with NVIDIA post-launch with, but I honestly don't know. Just form everyone up. Let's take a look. This is each map I go into now, like, it's, it's so weird, like, coming from Warhammer 2 where you're like, oh, it's just the same old map again. Whereas Warhammer 3, you're like, oh my god, look at the variety. Look at this layout. Why is everything so pink and purpley in the background? But yeah, just having all these different choke points. Obviously, it plays into the supply system mechanic that you have as well. Thank you, Vash, for the bits. Appreciate it. I'm thanking everyone that subbed and bits and stuff at the end of the stream just because... So much going on. Right, go this way. Where is the main? The main one's over there. The pink is from all the chaos. Let's hear all these nurglings going like... I think their animations are already like my favourite. Pink stuff is the warp. Oh, goody. That's never gone badly for anyone, has it? Let's send them all in this way, see if they can go for that point. It's, it's mainly spreading out my force at this point. It's just trying to draw the enemy to the AI to deploy in multiple positions to weaken them. Tim will send you in this way with our main troops, which are the uh, Marauders of Slanesh and Bullets of Corn right now. Let's send all the flyers in together. I think the plague drones will have them coming in from up here. And I think we'll also have the wolves come in from here, the Chaos Hounds. And then what's that leave me with? The Seekers of Slanesh. Oh, and these guys, the Horrors. Let's send them in from here. And we'll have the Seekers support our main group. Bring us soul. Okay, right. Start the battle. We submit. <laughs> the, no the noise the horrors make. That's brilliant. Okay, they've got spears over here, so I can't actually press the attack here. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. No, oh, Marauders with great weapon. That's not going to end well for me. Flyers, come over here and help out. Got our burning rage with Tim now. Send troops to capture the enemy defenses, Commander. They can be turned to our service. In we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I'm gonna do an explosion when I can get into the middle of them, hopefully. Come on. Stop trying to flap away. Boom! Fire. That's it. Bombard them there, please. Plague drones. Hit them from behind. Furies. Get around behind. Help out the Nurglings. I love that they just whip themselves around. That's great. Oh, one of, one of our abilities are... Uh, Horn of Chaos, melee attack, all my era, uh, aura. 
Yeah, whack it there. Nice. Or you can let it build up, I guess, if you don't activate it. Nice. Horrors go after these guys. War doggos come back that way. Oh, Furies, why aren't you, why aren't you getting in there? There we go. Help out my little nerglings. Good. Kill the ball. Oh, look at him. He's one big angry red boy right now. Look at that. Look at that. that six pack as well. Who'd have thought just swapping out some body parts would... Uh... Would hench you up so much. Any flaps. Tim is looking sexy. I'm assuming that probably affects my own units as well. Boom. Explosive fart. They're dead. We've broken their morale. Shattered their troops. The rest of their towers and structures go down. Bada bing, bada boom. That the world comes to an end on the 17th. Definitely. Oh, yes. And for this one, we'll go for Slanesh. Lovely. So we barely took any damage there, so we can deal with that army. If it means we lose Bay of Blades, that's fine. Doomkeeper upgrading. We get some Chaos Warriors of Corn there, so they're pretty tough. But yeah, we definitely we can't let that army go past to jump past it for straight fuel. Demon Prince. Get some more growth going because that is quite a chunky amount early on. Uh, he also, he's also got another item, another head. We could go for sharpened horns if we want. That's kind of his original base, but with sharper horns, which gives us call for power. Splash attack power plus 50%. Base damage plus 50%. Ooh, that's kind of nice. It also goes on a rampage. He just slaps about a bit. Beard waggle. Uh, armor piercing. I think right now I want to go. I want to stick with that because that just gives us a higher melee attack on our defenses. That we need some more armor and everything else. We can get more torso bits and pieces. What are we? What are we working towards? Because I'm just. I'm just. Keep on attacking, and it seems to be yielding some pretty nice, tasty rewards. So, our next corn one, which will actually unlock Chaos Warriors of Corn, which would be lovely. We need 440. You get some different sets as you go through, different weapons as well. So many options. Oh, and there's set gifts as well. Oh. You get a set bonus. Oh, it's like it's proper RPG. <laughs> Full on set buffs. I didn't even see that the first time. Noise. Kislev's fallen champion. Yeah, I need some more some more armors. Um Spell resistance. I think I like this one more at the moment. So we'll leave that in there. I doubt I can... Re oh, we can get more Marauders of Slanesh. Oh, perfect. We can actually just afford two more of them. Their, um, their attack... What's their attack getting buffed by? So many things. So many abilities. 
Um, oh, I know what it will be by. It will be because of corn. Corn's corruption here. Increases melee attack and charge bonus. Noise. Um, so that's what's buffing them. But yeah, they're they're all right actually. They're anti-infantry. Okay, they're not armor-piercing, but they'll they'll still pack a reasonable punch of sword infantry. That's looking good. Right, let's do enter. My lord, a rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. Yay. Grayling want non-aggression with us. Um, you're going to be 200 gold. I kind of feel like we're going to end up just conquering all of you. But maybe we can get you to bend the knee. Say, if you're not seen as immediate strategic threat to any other faction, so you're not suffering any diplomatic penalties. Oh, okay, interesting. Hmm. What map is this? This is the, the Warhammer 3 campaign map. The only one that's currently in. No combined map yet. I am... Gonna decline that for now. Oh, now it's telling me about demonic prince customization. A little bit late on all that, but we we've been through a few turns of this. Why am I not streaming on YouTube? Because I'm a Twitch partner, which means I am not allowed to stream on other sites. I have my eggs not all in one basket. Right. Thanks for the tutorial on that. A little bit late. <laughs> right. Supreme they have turned back. Oh, can I reach them? Yes, I just can. They haven't attacked that one yet. They're still sieging me down. How weak have my forces got there? Looking ropey, but if we get a chance to finish them off, I think I'm going to take it. They might just run from me, but they let's do it. Yeah, they're going to run. They're going to run towards their settlement. Flee, flee the before me. All it can, my lord. Yeah. Let's take them out next turn. Yeah, Demons of Chaos, Demon Prince was revealed for the first time today. Fruits of the garden. The fly lord asks only that his servants uh, per per perpetuate a cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Employing disease most foul to grease his eternal wheel. Delighted by your apparent devotion to decay, Grandfather Nurgle blesses each and every one of your warriors with a full body coating of pulsing cysts and iron hard uh, calluses. Oh, lovely. That's that's what you want, isn't it? Thanks, Demon thanks, Prince. Papa Nurgle. I think I'll pass on that actually. Uh, today the embargo. We're only allowed to show you guys Demons of Chaos or Cafe. Cafe's over on YouTube. Demons of Chaos here on Twitch. Uh, we've unlocked something else. Ah, more horns. <gasps> we get the purple son of uh, Zerus. Zer I've never been able to say that one right. I always call it like, is it Xerxes? I always wanted to call it like Xerxes, but it's not that. Oh, he's got like some broken up horns there. Base weapon damage, call of power again. I mean, the, the vortex spell could be quite useful. There is, there is, there is this. Can I get the other legendary lords? What other legendary lords? There aren't any other legendary lords in this faction. Why so serious? <laughs> um, hmm. Power of the Xerox Prince. That's going to give me a lot more health points, but not as much damage. But I do get a purple sun. I'm going to go for that one for this one, I think. But they pull back into Ice Drake Fjord. 
they're going to have their extra troops in there, plus that force. Oh, we've gone this far. We might as well go fully. Oh, good God. Okay, that's... Okay, I'm feeling like we might need to pull back, actually. Because the great orthodoxy of Kislev are coming over. Ah, oh, dang it. Otherwise, they could threaten my capital. Things are getting spicy. We're on very hard difficulty, but this is this is quite spicy for an early, early campaign. Wherever you go on land, I will be able to break you. So, and we might lure that army out. I don't want Felman at my back, that's true, but also I don't want these guys harassing my capital. Whereas these guys are going to be stuck on that channel. They might move back down here, but we can push them back. So I am going to I'm going to force march back all the way to this bridge. And then go after these guys here. Yep, we get it. There's some blasphemy going on. Yeah, 105 factions currently in the game. Oh, one's been wiped out. 104 now. Oh, oh, what? They came in to help. No. And they've got an element. He starts with an elemental bear. You're having a giddy. Uh, you're having a giddy? You're having... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. You're having a laugh, mate. What? What? Mm, Rasputin of Kislev, why? Oh my days. Right, um We're really, really weak. But for the sake of maybe taking them out with some towers and some choke points. Let's let let's go on in. Try and weaken them so that we can uh, take them out with our other force next turn. Get more power for slaying fanatics, I wish. Gather your warriors. The enemy line up to attack and will soon press forward. Oh, this is good, actually. Yeah, I totally kind of forgot about this. Reinforcements don't come in at the start of battle anymore. They They take a couple of minutes to come in. You can use, use Lightning Strike to l lower the amount of time it takes for them to come on in. So these guys are going to take nearly two minutes to arrive. That means I can focus initially on trying to do as much damage to these guys as possible. More. Um, so we are going to build ourselves a... Oh, a piercing Tower costs quite a lot. A few types of Piercing Tower. More damage. Let's go for that one and then build ourselves... A, we don't have any missile troops, so we will just build a a trap. Or do we want a monument to increase our own one? No, let's go for a trap and weaken them there. So we draw them in here. And then choke point them. They can also come up that way. But we'll save those points because we'll need to deal with the others over that way. Plague Toads! You are absolutely filthy. Oh my days. Yeah, minor settlements are actually minor settlement battles now. They're not open field ones. Could pop another tower there, actually. Um, your war beasts, aren't you? Your anti-infantry poison attacks. Have you guys there? Some nurglings. I think I'm going to need all of them here and hope they all just dive this way. Some plague bear. Oh, you are. You are absolutely disgusting. But I kind of, I kind of want to pop. Did, the... Did you just have a nurgling come out of? Oh, wait, what? He's hanging out your back, or possibly somewhere else. Did you just come out of his ass cheeks? I think one just did. I kid you not. I'm pretty sure Nurgling just came out from between his cheeks. 
Can you show that on Twitch? That ass. Oh my, yeah, there we go. Little, little butt goblins there. That one's coming out of his chest. That is... That's something, all right. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a thing. Power. Take him out there. Taliban win. Taliban strong. I mean, I think we're going to get absolutely ruined here. What we're going to actually have to do is probably pull back. So as their missile troops are going to wreck us before they can come on in. That one's going to try and flank us, but that's okay. For the moment. We could put a blocker there if we need to, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just draw me in here. We're not going to win. We're just going to try and do as much damage to them as possible. Oh, boy. Pew, 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 pew. Right. Don't engage them. Take out the Mortar Chieftain. <laughs> Poison frogs. What will they think of next? Oh, my frogs have already gone. Wow, okay, that didn't take long. I'll try and wait for the enough points to get that piercing tower number two up there. You get squigs. I honestly don't know. I mean, I assume the green skin factions will get squigs like they did in Warhammer 2. But there aren't any playable ones in... Uh, in this just yet. Did some decent damage with our uh, spirit leech on him. We'll at least weaken the Lord. Fighting right in the shade, though, so we can't see things that clearly here. They're or they're being affected by the trap. They're within the aura of it. Quite comfortably. Need eight for that. Might have enough to do one more on him to weaken him. Guys are trying to escape the hunters. Well, one more bit of Windsor magic. Dive on in. We're gonna lose, but we've done we've done a bit of damage to them. Kiz lives on its way though. That elemental bear. Having a giggle bringing that thing in. Disgusting. And where's uh what's his face? Where's the uh, Kislev Rasputin. Let 
I'm using this somewhere. I can't see his banner though. Oh, I might actually be able to take out their Lord, for what it's worth. But they'll just spawn in a new one, that's the problem. No, that's me gone. That's a big, big bear. They lost 141. That's not, that's not too bad. We've weakened up their Lord. It'll be easier to take from them than it will Kislev. Surprised they kind of fought side by side on that, to be honest. Okay, they've retaken it. He's right next to them there. Upgrade any settlement. Noise. Your military is mighty, but expenditure on unit upkeep is becoming ruinous. You should yep. consider disbanding some of your troops. Reduce unit upkeep expenditure to below 80% of income. Okie dokie. I like you get reactive missions now in the game Demon based Prince. on your current economic setup. Uh, that we're not currently doing zinch things. Um, or I want to get some blood letters. Or what's our garrison like now? Yeah, it's starting to get a bit better. I feel like we might benefit though from actually having garrison improvements sooner rather than later, just because we're going to get threatened otherwise. So much power. I mean, I can turn back around. I can actually break these guys now because they're in force march, so they can't retreat. I still can't reach Costaltin, uh, but then he could march up towards the Doom Keep. Not a chance. They're taking attrition though, because of the high chaos corruption. No. That's noise. You know how many base armies there'll be was in factions eight yeah can't afford a second lord right now if we did it would break us um i think i'm going to take these guys out from behind and then turn away because otherwise they're just going to hit longship graveyard i might as well set them back it's close victory all the results says we won't lose anyone but let's make sure we're in good fighting shape. And it's across the bridge as well. Here we go. Hostel Tim. Just thought of that. That is pretty good. Like if we when we do a Kislev campaign and we get a I assume there's a, a Lord uh a hero that you can or not a Lord hero. A a Lord that you can recruit that's kind of similar to Costaltin, whatever whatever he's called, a patriarch or something like that. I don't know. Um We'll call him Costal Tim. I like that. Yes, yeah, our first major battle actually between two kind of large sized forces. Uh, let's risk a uh, channel magic. Why not? Thought it was the basically the. No, you're thinking of the whatever the Mortal Empires 2.0 map will be called, which a lot of people are throwing around the the suggestion of Immortal your Empires. Are ready to deploy for battle. But yeah, Warhammer 3 launches just like. Warhammer 2 did with its own unique campaign. Warhammer 2 had Eye of the Vortex. Warhammer 3 has got the Forge of Souls uh, campaign map, which is what we're currently playing on. The bigger combined map will be out at some point after release, I assume. Join together as my fist. What well, the three bars on the right, please? These are your kind of how you unlock army abilities through glory points through battle. Um, as it goes up, you have a chance to unlock increasingly higher power army abilities.
can't get any of my guys behind them, can I? It'd be a little bit bonkers. Nope. Uh, where do we want to hide you guys? I probably want to draw them out such so my cavalry and wolves can bite their faces off. Rather than rushing forward. Otherwise, my Slaneshi Seekers can't um, have some fun. In which case, I definitely don't want my Nurglings there. We're fine. Don't worry about it. He, he likes to panic the advisor a little bit, doesn't he? Let's go to about there. This is the default camera mode, yep. Alright, flyers get around behind them. And someone was asking, have we got the... Um, the... Uh, slow down when you cast spells. I thought it was based off this, but actually I'm guessing it must be in... Yeah, it uh, must be in here. Uh, slow motion ability targeting, which means when you cast spells. You can turn that off though if you want to, but I quite like that actually. My darned bombarding. My horrors of Zinch. No, you can... You can only dedicate yourself to one of the followers of uh, what, one of the Chaos Gods completely, or you can dedicate yourself to Chaos Undivided. But early campaign, you get access to a lot of them. Have a good mix. Let's throw in the purple sun there. Oh, very nice. Him, Tim. Go for a rampage as well. Big damage. Yes. We can let this build up to get a more powerful spell this time. Yeah, the Zinch, the Zinch horrors really, really do tear enemies down. Right, we are going to Your troops come under fire, Commander. press the attack forward now. Find cover or eliminate the source. This was not Demon Prince. Yeah, he absolutely chomped him there. So we have a 25% chance here of unlocking Relentless Rage, Unbreakable, Unkillable area, Bolt of Change, uh, Fascination, Direct Damage and Rampage, or Fessundity. Chain Heal. Interesting. Go for my warriors. Oh, Tim, you are just smacking everybody, bud. Uh, we got the bolt of change. Medium strike area. Let's lock it in there. That resets it. So you can wait till the top line if you want to. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. Very nice. And uh, they're in force march, so they get wiped out. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, we upload in one big chunk on YouTube uh, tomorrow. Basically, you've got Cathay on YouTube today and this uh, out on Thursday. Uh, but one big chunk 
uh, so that's kind of stipulation of the embargo. If I'm streaming content as well, I'm at, I am allowed to upload the VODs to YouTube, but I'm not allowed to cut them up into individual videos as such. It's got to go up in one big old chunk. Because there's kind of a set amount of time for video content, set amount of time for stream content. Yeah, stream tomorrow, uh, 2 and 6, and then same again on Friday. Um, the Demons of Chaos carrying this on. Okay, off Captain to Nurgle, Zinch Glory, Undivided Glory. So we don't actually get, we don't ever get any replenishment, do we, at the end? Although we, I just realised we barely took any damage. Absolutely crushed them. I mean, they they actually didn't lose too many, but they got defeated. So that's the main thing. Uh, we'll go for. I'm trying to remember. There was something good, I think, in Undivided Glory coming up. They're in Force March. So they're trapped. That's why they they probably broke because they were weak. All the penalties there. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Here we go. Here we go. Yes, it was the Chaos Sword. Oh, new fancy sword. How's that it compares to my original one? It's just 5% uh, higher on both those two. Yep, we'll have that. We've now got oversized medium armor. Beta Buna gives us armor as well. Not so much melee attack and defense. But we kind of do need some more armor. It lowers our melee attack quite a bit, but let's just see. That gives us mortal blow still. Melee attack and base weapon damage. 60. What? That's huge. Oh, uh, it'll remove my Chaos Sword. Oh, uh, because it's now got a big old slappy claw. Wish I could put the sword. Uh, I can't put that in with that one. Look at that big old chunky. I mean, let's try it out. Let's see what it's like for a bit. <laughs> Let's see what our big old uh, our big old scythe arms is like. Wow. Yeah, I can't put anything in offhand. It's got to be separate, I guess. Noise. Tim, you bad, bad boy. Yeah, customization is just for the Demon Prince, not for any of the other legendary lords. It's unique to him being fully customizable and fully, fully modeled on both his model on the campaign map and battle map. Other legendary lords... Uh, look the same no matter what you apply to them. Because he's the only one with kind of fully customizable body parts and stuff. Do that and then do... Yeah, go for that one. Then we'll go through Root Marcher next. I've just realized as well, look at these, these, uh, these skills he's got. Maim, Kill, Destroy, Slaughter. Just all it's lovely, lovely corn influence here. All about just increasing damage more. Um, yeah, let's make an absolute unit with the main there. Lovely. Right, so I probably need to force March back over this way to deal with Costaltin and that. And then by the time we come back over here, the yes, they will have built back up their arm. Oh my day. Oh bloody heck. How are we meant to Oh my days. They just keep on coming. Oh my day. Well, we, we need to defend here rather than pushing further along. Sigma forbids this. Damn it. Keep coming back. Um, I mean, if we upgrade that, it does give us more garrison. So we should probably try and get that in there. And then I wanted to build that in there, but we don't have enough money for that now. Unless we go for the income generating building. But it probably would be wiser to go for getting that there. So we'll have to just see what's what's available. Depends where Costalton goes. Demon Prince run over in one stream. I hope not. Although now I can't see what's going on at Bay of Blades. Oh, good God, who's that behind us? Military access. Oh, it's the Black Venom coming up behind us. Uh, yes. You know what? Um, and for now, I'm going to say non-aggression. As well.
Oh, DL. I mean, he's just gobos. Which we should be able to see off, but... I mean... Uh, where did no. Costalton go? I don't. I don't like the fact that I can't see Costalton. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's because we. It's because everyone just comes straight towards us, doesn't it? Because we we automatically end up at war with them if they're not chaosy. This is going to be tough, but it, I assume it's because it gives you a great opportunity to farm up loads of glory that you can then unlock stuff with. We'll be streaming for another hour or so. Feeling outnumbered and surrounded, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I must taste flesh. Mm. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, there's some wood elves there. Someone was asking about wood elves. Yeah. Um, let's get a quick yes. deal. You guys, are, what I'm going to do, because we've got so many enemies right now, I'm going to get some non-aggressions going. Norska. To be honest, I'd rather be and you want some military access, because you you're at war with all these people as well. Yes. I'll turn on you guys later on. We've got enough enemies. Let's just, let's just be friends up here. Um, and then we can balance offer to find out what they'll want, but... Actually, yeah, let's just do that. Balance offer. They'll give me all the gold. It'll automatically even out. Noise. Um, propose. Done. Done. Uh, you're also considering a defensive alliance. Um, I don't know if I want to be pulled into more war, but I'm, I mean, that's just going to pull you into more of the wars that I'm with. Maybe that's a good thing. Hmm. <laughs> Stonehorn, where are you guys? Yeah, there's Toddy. Um, oh, there's Franz. He's showing up on the map now. Uh, you know what? The last thing I want is to be have some beastmen come and attack me. So, uh, oh, you'll give me quite a lot of money as well. Oh, wow, you could even... That balance didn't quite work. You could have offered me loads more. Yeah, give me that. Um, happy days, thanks. Infest me. I really do not want to infest you. No, thanks. Can I build some outposts? Um... Dominate. Uh, where are they? Not corn, kiss the no. Bring death. Tribesmen gather. Uh, I think you can only do that if um Marauders all. Take what's theirs. I don't want quick deal actually, hang on. Exit that. I think you can only do that if you've got a military alliance with them. What? Always ready for a headbutting contest. Or a defensive one. Maybe if I've got a defensive alliance that might work. Um, yeah, let's not worry about defensive alliance just yet. But yeah, there, there's an outpost system. I've only seen it in my cafe campaign. I didn't know if it was a unique one to them or not. Because they're the, their unique part of their unique thing is that they can do caravans and stuff, which is quite nice. Right. Um, how much movement have I got left? Thirty-one percent. Go into ambush. I was looking for where Costalton had gone, actually. That's what I was looking for. If it'll show up at all. No, I can't see where he's gone. Now we're at war with these guys as well over here. Dang it! So many enemies. You can trade territory as well. It has to be adjacent to you. Oh, it tells you the success chance of your ambush there. That's useful. Building upgrade available. Yeah, with all that money we've got in, I want to go for that in there and upgrade that. Lovely. Right. End the turn. Please come on land right by me, you foolish. Oh, no, you've come, you've come on land there. Okay. They just got destroyed. The Black Venom decided nope. Noping out of there hard.
Northern's going to be Northern's going to be quite annoying to deal with. You're, You're building up there as well. Not. I, have a I am going to try and move ready to ambush you again. Go here. That's when we see Costaltin and we're like, uh oh. 70% chance. Come on. Go for one of my other settlements from here and let me catch you in an ambush. Please, 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 please. Come on. Be stupid, be stupid, be stupid. Oh, you went back in the war. <gasps> no. Yes, they've gone. They went to war. Yes. Perfect. They went to war with them. Beautiful. Now, what happens if... If I try and attack you, will these guys come in mutual enemy? And then I turn on them? Could wait for them to attack, but they don't. I don't want them in the settlement for their... Control they'll have there. No, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. That's fine. mass in great strength. See for yourself. You may wish to consider a three-way fight would have been awesome. I kind of wish that that's something they they would they would add in because that'd be awesome. Just to have a big old free for all. Casualty's going to be high. Yeah, going to be high for them. I think we've got this. Oh boy. channel some magic. Well, it's dark in the shadow the of these mountains. Oh, look, Chaos Portal. Hello. Fun. Uh, I mean, we are creatures of darkness, but I kind of want to fight in the light. I also want to utilize this high ground here and this kind of little choke point we've got going on. So that's where I'm going to pull back to, over here. And we'll have all these guys ready to go hit their their back line of missile troops. Uh, I don't know if we can get away if we plop them all in here. Whether we'll get away with it, we might do. So let, let's try. All goes on top of each other. Decas. Blood letters in there, and then you lot, and the nurglings. Have you guys hiding here? Oh, uh, we lost one of the flyers. That's what it was. I was like, why are we down one? Yeah, we've lost a flyer. The flyers actually. Let's have you. Uh, let's have you here, and then we'll flank around, harass them as well. Okay, could I keep going this way, please? That map a bit bigger if we want to, I think. Is he going to discover my creatures over here? Possibly. I've attacked you as well, so. Probably have to wait until I hit them. Might not be able to draw them to me. How can you move the whole formation? So it works the same as it does in Warhammer 2. Select everyone you want. Press and hold down left alt. Then over one of the units selected. While holding down left alt, left click. You can let go alt 
uh, this point. With left click held down, you can then move the formation as it currently stands however you want. If you want to rotate it, hold down control. And with control held down, just move the mouse left and right. Spells may be overcast to increase their potency, my lord. Right, pop that right in there. Channeling so much room. Missed the big chunk there. But that is still a really tasty... I was about to say suck up. I'm sure that's quite right. I think this might have drawn them towards my battle line, though. This might have harassed them enough. It's good. Flat faster, Tim. Flat faster. Okay, I am going to go for a quick strike with the Seekers and get him round behind them with the Doggos. We'll fire that again. We need 18. That'd be nice. Try and pick them off a little bit. Have you found the takeoff land? Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. I feel like the animation for it at times can maybe be a little bit tighter, but I mean, it's a massive improvement over not having it. That's a good munch. Big old munch. It's very dark fighting the shadow of this mountain. Munch those crossbows. Seekers. Pull away. Doggos, get back. Cav, swing around that way. It's nearly got enough for another one. If we can clump them all up, we can get another big old Buna in there. Buna? I don't know why I'm saying Buna. It's not Buna. It's Purple Sun. the other missile units. Pick them off bit by bit. Seekers, back off of the free company militia. What have we gained here? We'll spread to enemies in 30 meters effective unit. Affects up to five units. Ooh, that's quite nice. Okay, we've got the purple sun back. Are they going to go towards my main line? I think they are. Chaos Furies, get away. Need to bunch them all up over here. We can get them all to bunch up if we send uh, Tim in there. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys out because otherwise you're not going to get action. Get you in there. Purple sun on all their faces. Yes, that's what we want. That's huge. What have we unlocked there? I just hit points to combatants. Nice. See what the next one is, see if we can bring it up towards that. Horn up Nurglings. Stuck in there. 
We're going to get this final army ability. We get the Sweet Sorrow army ability. Effect range infinite. Duration 20 seconds. Eh, I don't really want that one. dark in the shadow of this mountain. We're meant to be taking a look at his, his Slaneshi arm. And over to those swords. Absolutely slaughter him. Get off the archers over there, please. We've nearly got enough for another purple sun, which would be great to get into some of the blobs that have formed up. Pull back. Hunt these guys down over here. I don't know if the, these guys might be instantly destroyed because I don't think they've got anywhere to run to. Pretty interesting. Are we run out of. No, reserve, uh, power reserves, gone. Yep. I'll take out their lord. Slide back into these guys, I think. Oh, these guys have all been broken. Your warriors tire, mighty lord. noise. They're dead. I'm going to run them down just in case. Some of them do survive this because I don't quite know how it's going to work. Go, go, go. Yeah, we'll get some more XP as well, which is true. Uh, what's going on with Bandalore? Bandalore will be back next week. This week, we're focusing on Warhammer 3 Early Access. Oh, they're on guard. I really need to take that off. They're, that's why they're not chasing. Yeah, they should have run them down by now. Bada bing, bada boom. Hopefully the next battle we have is a little bit lighter because that is real dark. I'm trying to draw them out to the light, but uh, <laughs> they wouldn't have it. Well, welcome, Mr. Biggins. Glad you enjoy the content. Nice. Good solid smash. Tim raking in the kills. Oh, that is a lot of glory to be had. Okay, I really need to take a look at what's coming up to decide what we want to store our points to. But I'm quite enjoying corn. So let's go offer to corn next. For more points. See what we unlock there. But yeah, we've got to, we've got to plan out what we're going to get next. We should be able to claim this. But the thing, the thing that worries me is if Costalton comes straight back and smashes us. Um, Longship Graveyard. It really are going to need to get defenses, aren't we? Uh, when Outside Ogre or Norsegun Homeland adds walls here. This won't add walls to it, but it will add us defenses, which we're probably going to need. How is that regarded as a close victory? Don't know. <laughs> That's been consistent all the way through the trilogy. Root march out finally. Um, intimidate allies. Uh, yeah, just up drops the upkeep cost for all of them. 
Uh, lightning strike. Enables lightning strike battles when reinforcements are present. Enemy reinforcement uh, time plus fifty percent. So it slows the reinforcements coming on in. Um, do I want to go for that or do I want to go for this? I mean, we could go for some upkeep reduction. There's so much to go for. What do we want? I think we, we get, as I said, we're going to focus a little bit on corn stuff to start with. So let's go through more corn glory. I'm not too worried about getting lightning strike, start strike right now. Tool of conquest. Is there an option to remove the rematch? Uh, I don't believe so, but then it's an option, so you don't have to choose it. Much power. Uh, bestial wings. We get bloodthirst. That's nice. Good charge bonus. Pestilent decay. Causes damage to combatants to those around you, isn't it? Uh, now let's go blood first on those wings. Beautiful. Um, what have we got? Heavily armored gauntlets. Is Wolfric gone in the campaign? Uh, I don't know. Haven't seen him yet. Ooh, that is huge. That is, I mean, we do lose the fate of... Uh, Buna. Actually, I haven't done that one, though, have I? I didn't see that one up here. I think it's probably because it costs 22. We're not building up to that. Let's go for heavily armored gauntlets, because that gives us more armor, more defense, and weapon strength, and that gauntlet is also sick. See, ones with set bonuses, yeah. Because then that will give us recruit rank corn units, armor for blood letters. Haven't unlocked all the gifts of this set yet. So we need, yeah, right arm. Tail, 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 tail. Tail of many teeth. What's that look like, first of all? Oh, look, it's a tail with lots of teeth. It lives up to its name quite well. It gives, ooh, a barrier hit points, plus 50. So I gain a barrier first. Nice. Passive ability, seven times tail. Like damage. That is, that is pretty cool. Yeah, let's have tail of many teeth give us a barrier. Yeah, that's cool. That's real cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right, what are we saving up for next? Or what can we get next if we have more points? Um, minions proved capable. Weapon strength plus 8% when fighting against Slaneshi factions. So we've got Chaos Warriors now, which is good. What we wanted. Flesh Hounds. That one is unlock bloodletting feature for all your armies. Oh, hello. That's pretty cool. Uh, Blood Shrine of Corn. That's six, six. Oh, we only need a little bit more for his cloven hooves. That's part of the. Oh, this this will be the set of stuff, won't it? The Fierce Prince. No, that's a different set. That need we need the cloven greaves legs. They are going to be over here, I assume. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what else was it? The heavily armored gauntlet's right arm. Like there, all the way up here somewhere. Yes, that's the one. Wow, they take a while to get. Damn. Okie dokie. Um, piece of Nurgle. That gives me a big old maul, but then I wouldn't be able to use the arm thing. That is quite nice. Yeah, we've not, we've not done much um, yet with Zinch. I probably won't, just because it's not my playstyle. Basically, more corn, Addict more undivided, possibly a bit of, so. bit of Nurgle in there as well. Um, what's our next one for undivided? Demonic Onslaught. Oh, that gives us that back, doesn't it? Gives us a Chaos Shield. Battle-worn wings. Purge the weak. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's a Valiant Defeat. Oh, really? I think you're having a laugh there. Although, because you've got a load of Marauder Berserkers. And you've got all those choke points. I mean, we should be able to win. Let's do it. 
But it's the first two-handed weapon. I think it's a, there's a maul of... Um, there's a maul of Nurgle you can get. No bad. Right? Come quickly say hi. Come on, bud. Come say hi. Here's my own demon prince. Chaos spawn. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. I did. How? Oh. Awesome. Right, buddy. See you in a bit. Be good. There's time to look. Just all a custard cream biscuit. <sighs> he always loves going for the mic. How's the sleep progression? So good. So, so good. Blood for the blood god. Yeah. <laughs> There's my demon prince anyway. Right, let's try channeling some magic. Carnage unbound. Blood third. Oh, we got all sorts of stuff. Dark deployment. Noise. As long as we can purple suns and faces Your off. Are ready to storm the defenses. Our part is six months uh, now. Babies for the baby god. Oh, yes. Right. Um, Thinking what's the best way to approach this. Bought on this map a few times now. Do, 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 do. Imagine having like artillery like bombarding from up here. That'd be pretty cool. Ruined fort. Uh, anyway, right. Flyers, go here. Cav, 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 cav. We'll have you guys over here. But I think this is a good place to actually send in some troops from as well. And the Nurglings in from here. And we'll send yeah, these guys up this way. Pints of them. Right. Let's do it. Balance Pat is just in our favour, which is good. Oh, they put way more over here than I was expecting. Go. 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 My little nerglings, run! Go up this way instead. In you go. Ignore this lot over here. Go drones, go. Here's Tim. Also realise Tim is really on health. Just not worry about those guys. Is to the next 
victory! It pleases Lanesh! Can I flank around with you guys? Yeah, let's go around this way. The horrors are probably my strongest creatures right now. Yeah, corn gets um are they called soul crushers? Artillery? Or some or something. There's some kind of artillery he gets. Is the Ogre Mercenaries mechanic in there? Um I haven't seen it yet, but I I barely scratched the surface with it. So it might just be that they're not in there. Uh, that I, well, might be that I've just not discovered it yet rather than them not being in there. Purple Sun, whack it there, it should get both of them. This campaign got serious very fast. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah. What are we about to unlock here? We've got. Cannot move. I'll lock someone in position. Let's stop. Uh, let's stop their lord getting away. Strike. Pick on that tower if you can. Cav come up that way. Here you go. Capture that one if you can for us. Press the attack. Go, go, go. Get out of there, Tim. What we'll do with you? Send you over to the center point. Gonna be close. Bring us Do be Una again. Get that on someone. Maybe down here, in fact. Another force over there. Try and take out their Mortal Chief because I reckon that'll break him. Yeah, we need to let that Tim fight so he gains glory points, but he is running low. But we kind of capture these points with the War Doggos. Which will destroy some of their towers, which is useful. Send you down there. And send you guys into those. Put that away. Horrors have done a good job over here. Purple Sonic and hope it doesn't hit too many of my own troops. In fact, try and pull them back. Nice. Just managed to get them out of there in time. No. Son, turn around, turn around, turn around. That's it, that's it. Good, good, good. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, perfect. Yes. Beautiful. Stop that one running. Here we go. Capturing over there. Doggos. Get it. Kill it. Noise. champion of chaos. Taliban of Nurgle. You guys In you go. Get him, Tim. Our 
Nice, just took him down with the landing. Beautiful. Oh, well. He's so low on health, though. <laughs> Might need you over here. Go off them there, please. How's our momentum looking? Yeah, it's getting that. Capture points um, give you a bonus for key buildings being, hold, uh, being held. And then capturing the kind of supply locations stops the defenders building up defenses in those locations. No! Uh, Tim! No! It's this bloody tower. That's what did it. That's what was shooting him. He'll be back. And angrier than ever. Marauders of Come on, they've all got a break, surely. Any second now. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Woo. It just cost us a Tim. Rippers, Tim. Oh, we lost the other flyers as well. Um, we'll go for occupy that one. He's been wounded. Raid the following region. Bay of Blades aborted. Yep, successful. Reduce income. Yep, there we go. Right, who are we going to bring in? <laughs> so many choices. He will be back in five turns. Okay, we're on twelve turns. That's fine. That's fine. I just campaign moon range. I kind of feel like Nurgle, actually. Nurgle's kind of calling to me. Or we could go corny. But we've already got a blood letter in there. Archibald Channeler. Yeah, I think we're going to go for... Blisterkin uh, Maltrocious. Wow. You are disgusting, mate. Absolutely filthy. Go through maim some more. The land is infected. Him out for five turns. God dang. Okay, we will recruit. Uh, I mean, lost the two flyers. Let's get two flyers in there. Ah, there he is. There's Costalton. Let's hit war with them. Found him. Yeah, we're in 12 turns in. I'm allowed to show you guys up to 50 turns. Uh, of this campaign uh, under the current embargo. The when that gets extended on the 27th of January to 75 turns. So I'm planning to stream this tomorrow and Friday and then the next stream would be on the 27th. So Within the next two streams, I don't think we'll get past 50 turns. So that should be kind of perfect timing. Be pretty good timing for us. Uh, mission issued. Uh, demonic desires. Capture and occupy settlement belong to any of the following enemies of the Exiles of Corn. Black Venom, seducers of Slanesh, or the Exquisite Pain. Black Venom is probably going to be the easiest there. We're getting a thousand favor and right relations with the Exiles of Corn plus 40. Yeah, at least Doom Keep's now got a reasonable garrison. Not too worried about that. So let's take a look. I mean, he's 
we're, 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 we're at war with everyone pretty much, apart from other Chaos factions and uh, Norskins right now. Well, some Norskins. Um, where is he? I've gone past you already. Kislev, Kislev, Kislev. You're at war with me and those guys over there. So what are you doing up over here? I feel like maybe you've gotten stuck. But I'm going to let you attrition for a little bit longer. Um, although we really do need to finish these guys off they build on up again but it's gonna take them a bit of time to build on up and then head, make their way to us that's good longship graveyard has got slaneshi units in it i love how your, your garrison to be so varied in this and i confederate with other chaos faction new no. not that i not that i'm aware of although let's just go here Come vassal. No. They don't have confederation options. Which makes sense because they're all kind of their own unique thing and they wouldn't they wouldn't agree to be dominated by the other, right? Um I can't hit you there. I could try and draw them into us. That elemental bear though is nasty, and I don't think I've got anything that's anti large right now. We need to just replenish up, so I'm just gonna stay put. It's where we're gonna be safest right now. Especially if Nordland decide to send more troops against us. Yeah, Garrison Lord hasn't moved. Skip that. Build up our monies a little bit more. Build up our growth and get that Doom Keep upgraded. Demon's Chaos are a starting faction. Yeah, they were revealed for the first time today. They feature a fully customizable legendary Lord. Yeah, the pre order bonus is, are the Ogre Kingdoms for Warhammer 3. Oh god, loads of factions are getting taken out. Fish in a barrel. What's this? Your demons uncover a network of caverns nearby, inhabited by hundreds of skulking noblars. Though individually they are worthless, the mass destruction of these scrawny greenskins will make a glorious tribute to the Dark Gods. Hull them immediately. Your noble blood will yield a different dividend. Or release and pursue them and get a shrieking blade. Uh, no, definitely cull them immediately. Switchable plagues feature for your armies. Unlocks bloodletting feature for your armies. Oh my. my lord, the enemy raid your lands and I know, don't worry about it, mate. Wise to grow your settlement. I, that's what that's what I'm doing. Switchable plagues. How does that work? Oh, and we've got so this is really cool. Basically, you get the part of the unique faction mechanics, I believe, for each of the chaos gods available to you as demons of chaos. So, oh, here we go. Here's the plague stances. Plague effects on all non-Nurgle troops. All units suffer attrition. Ugh. On non-Nurgle armies. Um, oh, is that... Uh, maybe I only get to use it when I have a Nurgle Lord, or can I... Surely I can't do all of it. This is... I mean, this is activated for all of us, actually. Um, but I'm assuming as Demons of Chaos, this doesn't apply, the plague effects on non-Nurgle armies, because everyone's getting replenished anyway. So that's Bowel Steep. We've got um, Ochapox. Recruitment cost minus 5%. But then Cash Replenishment Reduction. Charge by Terror. Vanguard Deployment. But then lowers their speed and defense. Uh, leadership. Oh, I'm going to choose Vanguard actually right now. I know that lowers our speed and defense, but that's amazing. Yes, I'm all over that. Like a rash. Which is fairly apt for us as Nurgle. And then we've got Bloodletting, which is from Corn. Two turns until decay from inactivity. We currently have it at the maiming level. So upkeep minus 5%. Plus 25 growth or provinces. Cash replenishment rate plus 1%. Corn corruption plus 0. Goes all the way up until you're at massacring. So 9 battle victories required for this level. Just keeps on going and going and going. Um, upkeep minus 20%, growth plus 70. This is bonkers. Oh my days. Short loads also me. Oh yeah, they're plague. Oh yeah, we've got that. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, we get the Vanguard deployment. If we spread this plague to a, a nearby 
enemy, then they'll suffer minus 10 speed. Minus... Oh, wow, that is that is incredibly potent and powerful. Chaos gods be strong, you know. Uh, <laughs> who'd have thought it? Bear Blades can upgrade you, or we can wait till next turn, then I can upgrade my mainline settlement. But if I upgrade the Bear Blades, then we can build defenses here, which would help out because we're constantly getting attacked and invaded. So I think we probably need to do that. Uh, Demonic Glory, what else will be unlocked? All sorts of stuff. Chaos Warriors, a corn jewel weapon. I really want to get them, but I can't right now. Um, we need to upgrade the Doom Keep to build more of them. No, there's no other uh, Demon Princes besides Tim. He is the only Demon Prince. Lovely. Um, yeah, we're just going to stay put probably until Tim comes back or until we get a chance to jump on. Well, we could go jump on them, actually. Not yet. We'll replenish up. We'll replenish up a bit more. Might mean that they go away and we lose a chance to go, go after them. Uh, unless they come and attack us. Where are they going to go? Might need to attack you. We'll be able to occupy Altdorf as a strategic location. He could do. Oh god, Laurelorn. It's because they all come in contact with us, so they're all like, aha, let's Your kill them. War efforts would be strengthened by the raising of a new army. Nice! Appoint another command. They got plague. And you can open a second front against your I force. can't afford it, mate. You having a you having a giggle. So the risk is we could let them raid for a bit longer or we go out and attack them now. I would feel much more confident doing it with Tim. But I'm pretty sure he's not back still for another two turns. I think we might have to go for them now. Yeah, Altdorf is... Is everything? I think everything's a suitable climate for us. Yeah, we can go for it if we want to. Can we eat you yet? Get good scrub, get a second army. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, new. Cannot afford to. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to attack them now, I think. I but, I mean, all those Kossars. Thank, uh, they are high. Oh, they're, they're axe unit. Okay, they're not. They've got the spear unit there. We're going to have to use my blue horrors and pink horrors to try and bring down the bear. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. It is unbreakable, I though. He's fairly weak if we can smack him out. Cannot reduce uh, advisor on early access. He's already on low. It's just because it's the first time we're probably playing through this campaign. That's a period victory. Time to go try and take out a bear. We've got Vanguard deployment though, so we can try hopefully jump on them quickly. Let's do it. Have they changed the search ruin puzzles? I don't know, actually. I've not had a chance to search ruins for a puzzle yet. Oh, boy. some magic oh it's all uh it's all green because we're nurgle aligned now i guess thankfully not all at full strength uh yeah let's just uh i guess close the distance as quickly as possible Otherwise, what was the point of the Vanguard deployment, Lionheart? Yeah. Yeah, sky's gone green. That's really quite cool. Is it maybe actually, I wonder if it, I wonder what dictates it. Is it because the army is led by an agent of Nurgle? Or does the sky change dependent on who's got the highest uh, glory attained so far? Close the distance, counteract the strength. Okay. Let's go for it. Nerglings. I need to get into... These guys are spears at the front. I need to get my doggo... I need to send them straight there, actually. 
Then you guys right after them there. Flyers go behind them and harass the back line, but we don't want to come in head on. We'll have to go in from an angle, I guess, out from the flank. Try and do some damage with these guys here. Take them off their formation. They're off, uh, off guard mode as well. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what spells have I got? I've got a stream of corruption. And I've got Mysmer of Pestilence. Whack that along there, please. Flyers, in you go. Bombard. Oh, we're absolutely spanking them. Go for the bear, go for the bear, go for the bear. Take out the bear, take out the bear, take out the bear. Weaken the bear, weaken the bear, weaken the bear. <laughs> Kill the freaking bear. Oh, absolute annihilation. Yeah, Zinch, Zinch units be strong. I mean, they don't have a crazy amount of ammo. Take out their lord. Danian, thanks for reading party 27. How you doing, man? Flankety, 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 flank. I believe my Twitch overlays died somehow. Can't handle the awesomeness of... Uh, Warhammer 3, it seems. But thank you for the bits. Shoot the bear, shoot the bear, shoot the bear, shoot the bear, shoot the bear. What I'm trying to do. Oh, he is not in a good place. My blood reaper. No, blood reaper, no! Run, blood reaper! No. Rally. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Stop turning into fiery death and burning. Slow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Oh, God. No. He's burning up. No. He's going down. Run, Pink Horrors, run. They're going to get you. My Lord. Oh, yeah, take him out. Go on. Divine. Flyers, over here, please. Blue boys, you've taken them out. Nice. The bear's unbreakable, so we've got to go after that. What have we gained? What have we gained? What have we gained? Come on. Uh, that'll work. Curse of the slug. Slow it down. Take him out. 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 And slow him down even more. And his attack. Come on. Take him out. Actually, we don't want to completely take him out because he'll just spawn another lord. Unless, actually, do they do that in 
uh, raiding starts. Can't remember. Leave him be for the moment. Take out the bear. Bring down the bear. Bring down the bear. Bring down the bear. Bring it down. 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 Yeah, I'm guessing this bear must be his one of his starting units, which is absolutely bonkers strong for him to start with. Oh, look at that. It did ice magic. Oh, he just finished him off. <laughs> he went and just slapped him one. Beautiful. I mean, just look at that face. Got some real tongue action going on. <laughs> oh my days. That was very impressive. Almost as impressive as that. <laughs> that went well. It was 215. They got spanked because those are just their starting, starting archer units. And with that vanguard, as they close the distance, smash their faces. Bear was strong, though. But unfortunately, they did manage to take out... Um... Was he called Kag in the Black? I thought he was called something else. Yeah, Kag in the Black. They took him out. Uh, what do we want? Uh, let, let's push through. Let's get that corn. That corn to a thousand. Because why not? Oh, yeah. He still survives a little bit. That's fine. Oh, boy. Rip. Defeated Costalton. Oh, so we know his defeat one now. Lost six leadership when own Territory Lord's Army. Oh, that's a bit crap. We can keep moving and finish him off. Uh, let's so go up to the next one there. Battle victories required for this level. We will get that by finishing him off. In we go. Decisive victory. Ah, oh, really? We're going to lose one of them? Um, I mean, that's fine because we can recruit more of them. Bye-bye. Finish him. That is a teeny tiny amount of glory. I'm going to take it. Oh, I should have finished him with Tim. Yeah, you're right. You are right. Uh, but I mean, to be fair, his post, his defeated Lord trait is pretty naff. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, hate Zinch, Root March of 5%. And oh, we gained three levels with this guy. Damn. Let's get some more magics. What's that do? Spell causes damage to combatants, strong versus character. Curse the leper. I'm sure, reflection. Hmm. Reflects the damage back to the attacker. Sweet. Uh, but I'd rather have Children of Noble for replenishing hit points of combatants right now. Raw leeching. Got some ancillaries in there. Nice. Um, we're at war with these guys, aren't we? So. But I don't want to push out after them just yet. Ooh, who could be over there? The Black Gulp. Is that just... That might be ruins. We might be able to find out if there's a thingy there. We can get another blood uh, a blood reaper. Or we can get a plague ridden boy. Um, I'm actually thinking because well we, we got some magic but I'm thinking maybe a plague ridden might be better. Control armor. Um, or we can give him death magic but I'd rather give him Nurgle stuff. What do you reckon? A Blood Reaper or a Plague Ridden for when Tim's back, which will be... Ah, uh, where is he? Here we go. Two turns. Now, we should probably try and push along here to take them out or at least set ourselves up on an ambush stance ready to deal with. Let's move along. And hopefully we've got time to do so. Uh, we've got two slots open. I am... Oh, yeah, we need to have a hero in here, so it's just one of those. It might just be Cole Stoughton that has a kind of meh leadership trait. But then I don't know if they've made leadership a little bit more important in this game compared to others. Let's let's go for I reckon a plague ridden, and let's go for Infect minus three control enemy local province. Uh, I'm just giving more armor, I think. A counter. Let's 
get this guy. Get the plague lad. Nurgle boy. He gets the palaquin. Oh boy. Yeah, so we'll set him up ready to see what's going on. I'm assuming we can't. Peace. No. Marauders all. You're at war with Oh, Clan Mange, that's who it'll be. That's who they're probably going after then. Um Infest me. I, I'd really rather not infest you. Norska. <laughs> you guys want a defensive alliance. That would that allow me to I don't know if that will allow me to do stuff. Shall we defensive alliance with them? Or is that gonna get me in more trouble? Fighting other things. Uh, we're not at war. We are at war with the Black Venom. Uh, we're going to be going for another 15 minutes, pretty much. Um, yes. I believe it for right now. What, what settlements have we got here? Pack Ice Bay. That's where Tro Troll Fjord is. Jetty. Foul Fortress. That's new. A foul Fortress. <laughs> Alliance. What a weak Chaos Lord. Uh, here's Clan Mange. That's a really cool piece over there. Inland. Yeah. Sounds good to me, Dino Man. Oh no! Laura Go away, elves! Ah, leave me alone. Cry of the Raven, Zinch Glory. Nice. Oh, we got some heavy braces. Oh boy. I think not. You would you leave me alone? The elves, everyone coming at me. The witch's wood. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be a pest to deal with early. Certainly not. Because I ain't gonna be able to take out your forest. I wouldn't have thought. We basically just need to take out the. Norse are at war with us right now and not worry about dealing with the rest of it anytime soon. I'm just wondering when we start getting missions that start taking us towards these realms. However we get to them. I'm assuming certain things will crop up. Maybe it's tied to levels or something like that. Or it probably it's turn based I guess. Um, right so we can stay put here. Or we can wait for them to come to us. We are about to upgrade that one. Bay of Blades... Oh, that one's dedicated to corn. Oh, that's annoying. I'm guessing we can't change that. We didn't set that to corn, did we? Was that because they we lost it and it got taken back? So it set something up. We've got that to Nurgle, really. So actually, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we did let it fall just so we could reclaim it. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hmm. Oh, how many forces are they building up? They're building up multiple. Plus, they're going to have the garrison. Guys, this is a tough start. I'll give them that. Tim's back next turn. Um, you're definitely coming over to attack us, aren't you? Bay of Blades. They go across there. I'll have to come back in the following turn. I doubt they're coming out to us. We kind of need to catch them on the move and be able to keep the momentum going. What I need to do is wait for them to come on land, really. I don't just want to waste turns right now. Oh, did I put it to call... I thought I was just grabbing the glory. My bad. Let's... Tim will be back next turn. Unwise. Let's go into the settlement for the moment. Kind of show of strength. And also to increase our replenishment. Then we could try and set up an ambush for them. Can I still abandon? Oh, I should check that actually, yeah. You guys want defensive alliance with me now. Um, I 
I will accept. Is this your proposal? Yeah, I'll accept the defensive alliance with you for the moment. Just don't cause me lots of trouble. Jim is ready. All right. Or something cool you can do as well. You can save the characters to use them in a custom battle or in a new campaign. Which is pretty darn awesome. Uh, yeah, can you abandon? Yes, you can abandon. Uh, yeah, can abandon. They could always do that. Where'd they go? They've pulled back, haven't they? Wusses. That's fine because it's drawn these guys out. Whole oh boy. Right. Go in here. Kick you out. Bring Timmy in. Go, go, go. Right. They are going to go straight for the longship graveyard. Which has some reasonable troops. So we probably want to go... If we go too far, they'll see us coming and they'll probably back out. So we probably only want to go to about... There. Jump into ambush and hope they do go for longship graveyard. And that we're able to break them with our defences. All right, Bay of Blades, we're going to build up your defenses. That's that. Good, good, good. And then we've probably got some new items to give to Tim as well. So let's check them out. Oh, my days. We've unlocked so much. Whole host of new stuff. Um, So we've currently got the broken horns on. We've unlocked the masquerading helm. Oh, my day. You're fancy. Fancy Tim. Leadership can't move or featherless beak. <laughs> Chicken Tim. Bird boy Tim. Zinch's firestorm. That's a vortex. That's pretty cool. I do like me a vortex. Possibility to augment the winds. Belled, oh, belled horns as well. Hello. Hello, Poppy. That gives us the purple sun spell again. Same as the broken horns. That is part of a set as well. The foul prince. Uh, I'm going to go for featherless beak right now because vortex plus more barrier. Barrier be good. Torso. What have we unlocked? The trophied collar. Tempered rage. We lose the burning rage one, which is the explosion. But we get a little bit more defense. Um, yeah, our defense is really low right now, so let's go to that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wings. Ravaged wings. Purge the weak. Physical resistance. What are we currently on? Bloodthirst. Fancy, but I think I'm going to stick with uh, bestial wings. Left arm, we're on the heavy gauntlet. We can have the heavy bracer if we want to. The gauntlet gives us armor. The main, that's the main thing we want at the moment. More armor and defense. Which that gives us the yeah best best amount of armies. Take a quick look at that. Oh, it changes your color as well. Change that. Maybe it's a certain amount of of items belonging to a certain chaos god will dictate it. Perhaps. Do, 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 do. Um, gate of chaos. Summon a unit. Two uses. That's pretty useful. Plague of rust spell armor that increases armor. That would let me have a weapon again as well. I mean, base weapon down plus 60% is pretty huge. But I think I'm going to switch over to that. Heavy braces. Legs. We've got the desirable light greaves right now. Sinful footing. Um, cloven hooves. Cloven hooves. Let's go up to cloven hooves. Beautiful. Uh, right arm. What have we got here? Oh, we haven't looked at those ones. Steam of Corruption. Yeah, we've seen that one before. That's more armor and melee attack, actually. But Gate of Chaos summoning units into battle, that's going to be really useful. So I'm going to keep that one right now. Tail, 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 tail. Um, tail of many teeth. Is it really that one? Armored Battle Worn Tail. Uh, it's just different stats on it. That's fine. Hand weapon. We've got the Unholy Sword. His main hand weapon plus 25% and 10%. But we do actually have a two-handed weapon, a Colossal Maul. <laughs> Bonus versus infantry, armor piercing damage, and base weapon damage. That's sick. 
There we go. My wrath is frost. Beautiful. Right, let's leave that. Do one more end turn. We're going to wrap things up in about five minutes time. See if we can maybe have one last battle today. Because that's my time. They pull back. Ah, wusses. Earn 3,000 of any type of demonic uh, glory. Total favor, 3,000. Okay. The elves have really buggered off. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to have to go hunt them down, but they pulled back. Demon Prince he presents no challenge. Okay, go here. Ambush. Can we build anything else? Not right now. Let's doom keep right now. Um, to when I need to get in the military buildings so I can get some oh, blood triangle. Actually, I want to get this in. I want to get some chaos warriors. They look awesome. Their armor is probably my favorite. It's all shiny and red and fancy. Come on. Oh, uh, don't you dare don't you dare declare war on me. You want non-aggression pack? Um, I'm actually gonna say right now, Skaven. I'm gonna say no, because you're strength 80. And plus so I'd probably pick you off. Oh, if they come back in. I think they have. I think they have. I think they have. Yes. Ice Core and the Druzina Enclave. Okay. Supreme now they're probably, they're probably going to run from me. Denied. I won't be able to chase no. them. So I wonder if it's better. Hellish power. To move up. Ready to ambush them and then try and take them out when I'm a bit closer in the following turn. So they don't just keep running. Because I reckon they will. Because 14%, I'm not going to be able to chase them both. Unless they stand and fight. Unless they reckon they will. I, I think they probably run. Yeah, it looks like they fixed the whole movement range and points from Warhammer 2. It's a lot better now. I think I'm going to try and move up. Oh, I was hoping I'd get like a 70% oh, there. Ambush. I'll take him out next turn. I'm hoping they don't run too far. Let's do one last end turn. Oh, there be Scarbrand. I think. Yep. There he is. Old corn boy. Making Death Axe's monolith. Chaos waste to the north. Okay, they pull back with one army, but they've left the other one there. Beautiful. Howl of the Skull for Throne. Oh, we got a Blood Reaper recruited for us. Which has now, That's unfortunately, uh, it was uh, over on uh, the whole income, but we're about to grab their other regions. That's fine. Hey, Orcs. Sack or raise six Kislev Cafe or Empire Settlements. 20k gold. Done. I have a I mean, it seems incredibly easy to grab more of that glory but i'm assuming the next thing like costs yeah like a thousand so it's gonna take forever to unlock stuff Be quite a lot to it right we will wrap things up by initiating this battle i think i should be able to chase them because they shouldn't be able to move out of range yep boom and then we can push on the ice rate fjord so we will open fighting this battle it's apparently a pyrrhic victory how how are you getting that order resolve go home you're drunk i think maybe they're my Nurglings, they're really underestimating and thinking that's taking up a big bulk of the army. I mean, even Prince Tim is just bonkers strong. So, you know, there you go. Right, we will um, open fighting this battle at the start of the next episode. Until then, hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.